Hi, this is Operator Naja. Are you ready for Eternal Return 1.0? As you may already know, Eternal Return's official launch is on July 20th. Well, from early access in 2020 until today, many things have changed. And in this video, I will share with you the most important changes happening. Let's talk about the lobby screen. Do you see the difference? The screen, previously divided into two sections, has now been merged into a single layout. Looking neat, don't you think? You'll also be able to switch screens faster than before. Just press escape to go back. Guess what? Players will now also have a briefing room where they can wait. Up until now, you had to stare at a loading screen while waiting for the match to start. However, that will change from 1.0. Once your screen is done loading, you'll be able to freely use your character skills in the briefing room and chat with your teammates to make a plan. You can also prepare your strategy by looking at your saved plan. Campfires are now available on Lumia. Take your food to a campfire to roast it and cook it right away. Before, you needed to collect stones, lighters, and meat to cook a steak. Now, you only need to get the meat and take it to a campfire. Of course, if you want to cook something more upscale, or if there isn't a campfire around, you can still prepare recipes with just the ingredients. Now, let's talk about changes to accessories. Accessories will be removed from equipment, and tactical skills will be added instead. That means fewer items to craft. Hopefully, this will make it easier for you to get yourself equipped. So, what exactly are tactical skills? First of all, tactical skills are skills that can be purchased with credits. If used properly, the 12 skills can be used on any character, being as tactically valuable as their name suggests. There are a variety of skills that can be used for initiating or tanking. Skills that are good for melee attackers, ranged attackers, and skill casters. As well as skills that are useful for supporting your teammates. You just need to choose wisely. Remember how you needed to keep track of your mastery, crafting menu, open save plans list, and scoreboard all at the same time while playing? Well, now by pressing the V key, you can check all of your important information all at once. Keep that in mind when you're playing. The most important change in Eternal Return is that Squad will become the main mode. A squad will now have three players, resulting in a total of 24 players and 8 teams. Choose your teammates carefully. Solos and duos will be temporarily disabled, and squad will be split into normal and ranked. Choose your teammates wisely. Squad survival time is here. Just as you can do a lot of things with money, your actions in-game will also be connected to credits. Lumia's equivalent to money. The main source of credits is hunting wild animals. With credits, you can purchase special materials and root kits. And starting on day three, you can even pay to revive your teammates, giving you an advantage in the battle. What do you think of these changes? Were you surprised at how different things look like? There are a lot of minor changes too, but I think it's better if you see them with your own eyes. Go and take a look at the video I've prepared with the rest of the changes. That's it. See you in the experiment. <laughs>